And now a few comments on this very important idea of function notation. And the word notation just means how we write it. There's a standard way of writing, expressing these ideas on the written page. And this function right here, this example we looked at earlier, y equals 3x, this would be a fine way to write it. But what's more common would be to write this, f of x equals 3x. So instead of writing y, we just write this. But it really means exactly the same thing. When a mathematician reads this right here, he would read f of x. And in his mind, what he thinks is, there's a function, so let's give it a name, call it f, because f stands for function. And in this case, it is a function of x. The value we get out depends on the value we put in for x. So it is a function of x. And that's what that means, f of x. And that's how they write it, f parentheses x. One important thing to note is this, f of x does not mean f times x. This is not multiplication right there. Take this notation as a whole. That basically means the same thing as y. And the y value of the function depends on the value we put in for x, and that just lets us know that it's a function of x. So this and this mean exactly the same thing, and this is the fairly standard way to write it with function notation. Sometimes other letters besides f are used. If, um, if you're dealing with more than one function, you might be dealing with a function called f, another function called g, another function called h, and it's very common if you need a letter and the letter is already used to just move to the next letter. So if you had three functions you wanted to talk about and give them different names, you might just call them f, g, and h. And again, the notation here indicates that all of those are functions of x. And here's an example. We're told that f of x equals 5x plus 8, and we're told to find f of 4. And that's how a mathematician would read that, f of 4. And so you see how the notation works. See this little f of x here? In this case, we have f of 4. This variable x has been replaced with 4. So this means take function f and put in 4 for the variable x. So f of 4, we would say, is equal to this, but with a 4 plugged in right there. So it's 5 times 4 plus 8 which is 28. This is the same thing as saying y equals 5x plus 8. Find y when x is 4. That's the exact same thing. We put in 4 right there and do this calculation to come up with the value for y. Okay, and then b down here, find f of negative 3. We're going to take negative 3 and put it in for x right there. So f of negative 3 would be this expression with a negative 3 plugged in for x. So it's 5 times negative 3 plus 8. And what is that? Negative 15 plus 8? That would be negative 7. Okay, and this is not hard. You've probably done things like this before. The important thing here is just understanding the notation. What you see on this page here is very common and very standard mathematical notation. One more example, function h here, and it's a function of x. h of x is equal to x squared plus 1 over x plus 1, and we're told to find h of 3. So h of 3 would just equal this expression with the 3 plugged in for x, here and here. So this would be 3 squared plus 1 over 3 plus 1. So that's uh, 9 plus 1 is 10 over 4 and you could reduce that to 5 halves, or you could write it as a decimal, 2.5. So h of 3 is 2.5. So when x is equal to 3, function h has a value of 2.5.